We begin the night in the lightweight division. Eve Edwards, lethal striker, ultra charismatic, takes on Joe Stevenson, owner of the Ultimate Fighter House, now fighting at 155. The Ultimate Fighter 2's Joe Daddy Stevenson established himself as the favorite to win the welterweight competition early on. Joe took out Marcus Davis by submission due to elbow strikes. Joe's wrestling and ground and pound was overwhelming. Stevenson showed off his submission skills, taking out Jason Von Flew with an armbar in the semifinals. At the Ultimate Fighter 2 finale, Stevenson defeated Luke Kumo by unanimous decision in a great fight to become the Ultimate Fighter 2 welterweight winner. Joe Stevenson appeared to have all the tools to become a future UFC champion, but was knocked off course by Josh Neer, losing a unanimous decision. Stevenson now drops to the lightweight division and says he will never take an opponent lightly again. I'm excited for this fight. I'm the type of person that the better opponent, the better I perform, and I can't wait to get in there with him. Eve Edwards is one of the most feared strikers in the lightweight division. While dangerous with punches and kicks, Eve has rearranged more than one opponent's teeth with his lethal knees. Eve has scored victories over dangerous competition, such as Aaron Riley, Noyuki Katani, Ermi Franca, Mashima, and Josh Thompson. Having fun around the world for the last year and a half, Edwards returned to the UFC only to be upset by Canadian mixed martial arts champion, Mark Hominick. Now, Edwards is back and looking for redemption. This fight's gonna be a good fight. You, you can expect to see Joe Stevenson trying to take me down. Um, you can expect to see him fail and get punched in the mouth for it. Coming up next, Joe Daddy Stevenson takes on Eve Edwards. The 29-year-old native of the Bahamas, Eve Edwards, set to take on the young American Joe Daddy Stevenson. Not a huge reach advantage for Eve Edwards, but Stevenson, I will tell you, does not want to start to exchange blow for blow with Eve Edwards to officially get our night underway. Here from Las Vegas, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, we are live from the Mandalay Bay Resort and Casino in Las Vegas. And now, it's time to begin our first bout of the evening. This fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, the fighter standing in the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist who holds a professional record of 29 wins with seven losses. He stands five feet seven inches tall and weighed in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Joe Daddy Stevenson. And now introducing his opponent standing in the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist who holds a professional record of 29 wins with 10 losses and one draw. He stands five feet nine inches tall and weighed in at 154 and one half pounds. Fighting out of Conroe, Texas, Eve Edwards. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Big John McCarthy. Ah, Danny Trejo in the audience, Big John McCarthy, our referee for this lightweight matchup to begin our night here at UFC 61. Eve Edwards. All right, here we go. And you the ready? lighter, leaner, and meaner, Joe Stevenson. And we are underway. Joe is a huge 155 pounder. Amazing when you look at the body structure of the two men that, that Edwards doesn't have a more sizable reach advantage. First opportunity, I believe, for Stevenson to take this fight to the ground, he's going to go after. Absolutely, and he's doing a smart thing here. He's willing to engage and at least throw his hands or look like he's going to throw his hands to set Eve up. Even the southpaw stance. Now Edwards has worked diligently on his takedown defense. Eve's just a very good athlete, very nimble. He's a great athlete. I'm wondering if the southpaw stance is, is it posing a problem for Joe Daddy in, in setting up his takedowns. It's different when a guy leads the other leg. Anything you can do to, to throw off your opponent a little bit, 
is something that will be done at any time if you're comfortable with it because Randy you don't want to put yourself in an uncomfortable position in trying to throw off your opponent because really what you do is you throw off yourself. You know, you always want to bring your A game. You want to be in the strongest position you can be. You know, Eve looks very comfortable in the southpaw stance. Nice counter. Joe Daddy follows and picks yeah. up that leg, and he's going to be on that real hard. He was relentless. He was on that leg like a rat on a cheeto, as, as you as taught he. us earlier tonight. <laughs> but still, he hasn't been able to take Eve Edwards down yet. Now he finally does. Very relentless in that takedown opportunity was Joe Stevenson. Now look, now Joe Stevenson has taken a page out of your book now, Randy. He's trying to push Eve Edwards towards the fence to take his ability and his mobility away, but Edwards springs right back up. Eve uses beautiful butterfly guard to create space with his hips and stand up. Stevenson is going to feel like his cardio is off the charts. 20 pounds light. Oh, big nice high kick. kick. Oh, he follows it with a left hand. Oh, and down Stevenson's goes Stevenson. Hurt. Edwards Stevenson's trying hurt. to finish. He's recovering. He's defending himself now, using his legs, locked around Eve's waist. He was hurt there for a second, though, but he did a nice job of recovering. He got caught with the oh, kick, a body and then crush. he got caught with the hand. It's a body crush here. He's locking behind his own knees and squeezing with his legs. It hurts. Doesn't seem to be bothering Eve any, though. I wonder how much energy Joe's spending trying to get this submission. He's trying to find a way to land an elbow. Yeah, he's not going to be able to hold on to that very long. He's going to gas himself out. Nice Good elbows. elbows. Holy moly, that was nice. Eve Edwards, recent win overseas. Stands in Joe's back guard, up, makes him get back up. Said, I want to hurt you again in the standing position. Now let's see if there's any hesitation now by Stevenson in closing the gap after he was rocked a moment ago. Smart move by Eve, I think. Why stay down there against a guy who's got great submission skills? Stand up in that guard, make him get back up. Oh, good combination. That one missed, glanced off. Stevenson pushes forward. Stevenson looks comfortable, although he has eaten right. Eve is finding range, throwing nice straight combinations. Joe's not moving his head much. He's pretty razor sharp with his striking Eve Edwards, isn't he? He's surgical with those strikes. There's the knee that Eve has known so well for. It's a big takedown. Oh, watch the triangle choke. Can he get it here? Arm bar, trying to change the arm bar. Nope, Joe slips out of it. UFC 61, bitter rivals here tonight. UFC 62, coming your way next month as Chuck Liddell puts his title on the line against Babalu Solbro. Saturday, August 26th, tickets go on sale tomorrow, available only on pay-per-view. Edwards is on the bottom now, and Joe Stevenson imposing his will. Good elbow by Joe Stevenson. I think Eve is making a mistake closing his guard here. He needs to open his feet up, use that butterfly again, create some space, work his way up the fence, and get back to his feet. And look, he's trying to do exactly that, Randy. And, and the thing that I talked about earlier, Joe Stevenson is utilizing the fence and cutting off some of the mobility of Eve Edwards, taking a page out of your book, and Edwards is back up again. Stevenson wants that leg, wants to take this right back down to the mat. Stevenson knows exactly where he wants to be. He's not going to give Eve any space. Try and put it back on the mat. Stevenson looking right into the corner. Mark Lehman, Cobra Kai team, supporting their soldier here tonight. Man, Edwards really tough to take down here. Edwards is bloodied up on his forehead. That might have been one of those elbows from Joe Stevenson. Yeah, I think you're right. Nice single leg by Joe, but he puts himself in danger again. A triangle choke. Can he finish it this time? 15 seconds left in the round. I think Joe's going to get out. No, there's a little Palata attempt now. And he'll use this to get up for sure to get back to his feet. Will the bell ring, though? Stevenson seems to have weathered the storm. Nice and round scramble. one, very action-packed. And the interesting thing about round one, Randy, we saw both men utilize their strengths against their opponent. Very tough round to score, back and forth. Give me a towel. We're going to get a replay here. Eve throwing a nice high kick right off the cheek of, of Joe. Stevenson throwing those elbows that probably resulted in the cut on Eve's forehead. Stacking him into the fence. Get your stuff. Start, well, as soon as you make contact, they start driving up the middle. Don't you got it? His ground game no more, bro. Your ground game's Mom, just as good. Just stay relaxed, bro. Stay relaxed. He's gonna get best. He's gonna go for five some pain. Watch the leg locks. Great, great hip, great hip move. Give him some water. The best five minutes of your life right here. You hear me? Uh -huh. Okay. 
Stevenson got rocked in that first round. He sure did. He got hurt and he recovered quickly, but he was definitely in trouble there for for a good 10 seconds. Now let's see if he has gained some confidence with the strong finish right, to that round. Right. Let's see if there's that desperation that Eve Edwards corner was right. talking about when uh, Joe Daddy tries to get this next next takedown. Little blood from Joe's nose. A little blood right. on the forehead of Eve right. Edwards. Second round, here we go. On, Great pace in that first round. Now the lightweights are a ton of fun to watch because they're so darn explosive. Energetic, but still pack a big, big amount of power. This inside kick by Eve. Edwards in the dark trunks. Stevenson in the white trunks. Nice straight left by Eve. And Joe doing a nice job of staying outside of that lead foot of Eve, Eve Edwards to try and neutralize that striking. Eve countering, stepping back into the pocket, throwing those straight punches. Oh, just missed with the uppercut. This program is a presentation of the Ultimate Fighting Championship and Zupa LLC. Any use in whole or in part without the express written consent of Zupa LLC is expressly prohibited. Mike Goldberg, Randy Couture, Joe Rogan on assignment tonight. Glad to be with you here at the Mandalay Bay Event Center. UFC 61, bitter rivals. Tito Ortiz, Ken Shamrock, Tim Sylvia, Andre Arlovsky, Frank Mir on the card. Good straight left by Eve Edwards. Stevenson a little bit more willing to exchange here. He's throwing his hands a little more, which is going to make that takedown come that much easier. He needs to throw more right hands. Against the left-hander, he needs to throw that right hand right up the middle. And he's after that leg again. Nice single leg. Got him. Dumps him. Now the key is, Randy, what does he do from here? Does he use this position to his advantage? Well, he has to. He's got to secure. He's, he's trapping that leg nice to hold Eve down. And now Eve pulls full guard. Again, I think this is a mistake on his part. He needs to open his guard, use that butterfly, continue to scramble. Now he's using that foot on the hip. Joe working him to the fence, trying to limit his mobility. I he's going to start bringing those elbows down now. Absolutely. Joe's going to start dropping it here. Member of Team Hughes on the Ultimate Fighter 2, the first pick overall. And the eventual champion. He was everyone's favorite on the Ultimate Fighter 2 and did not disappoint as he won the welterweight championship, defeating Luke Kumo by a unanimous decision. And his lightweight debut for Joe Daddy Stevenson, at least in the UFC, as Randy mentioned earlier, he's accustomed to fighting at this weight. And you've got some great lightweights now. Steve has got a, a much Nasty. bigger gas yeah. on his forehead now. Absolutely. That's different than the initial one. This one's on. This is going to have yeah. to be checked, yeah, I This think. one's over the left side. I'm wondering if that blood's not coming from Joe. Oh, uh, Stevenson asserting his will here. Two and a half minutes Somebody remains in the second around round. And it's hard to tell who it is. I it, think it it's is from Edwards. a scalpel. It is Edwards. You can see the cut now. Stevenson overwhelming right here. Well, Raining Joe, down looking elbows. To, looking to try to find a way to finish this. He smells the blood. He knows the referee's looking at all that blood. And he's doing not much but covering now. Great position of dominance by Joe Stevenson. Again, the closed guard, I think, is a mistake on Eve's part. He needs to use his feet, create space, create those scrambles. He's so athletic, use that to his ability. A big big elbow. elbow by Stevenson. And another elbow. This is the Joe Stevenson that won the Ultimate Fighter competition. Devastating ground and pound here by Joe. They're going to check the cut. They're going to check the cut. And, and a great job done by referee John McCarthy because he waited until the pace slowed down because he didn't want to take the advantage away from exactly. Joe Stevenson. Exactly. John showing the expertise as a, as a referee that he's always demonstrated. Nice gash here by Eve. Yeah, that's it's, nasty. It's a... Uh, you know, the scalp really is a, a crazy place. It bleeds a lot, especially with a little sweat. Come here. Rinse the mouthpiece. Hey, you know what? He's going to continue. Absolutely. And, and John McCartney asked him, do you want to continue to go? And he said, absolutely. You're going to see him go back down on the bottom here. I would hope that he opens his guard and starts using his feet to create those scrambles and use that athletic ability. They'll put them back in the same position here, Randy. And, and again, this is a bad cut, but because... It's in the head area, as you said, when the blood starts to pump, you get all that adrenaline going, it's going to bleed worse than it is, if it that's actually possible. It looks a lot worse. Absolutely. It looks a lot worse than, than it physically is. The only issue is if he starts getting that in his eyes, being on the bottom here. August 17th, live on Spike. 
It Put is UFC face, Fight Night. Our main event that night, Carl Parisian against Diego Sanchez, followed by the premiere edition of the Ultimate Fighter 4 Comeback. Randy the Natural Couture, George St. Pierre the trainers. Come on, he needs to go get out. Let's move. Now Edward still is not out of trouble here, though. No, he's, he's just now opening his guard. Look to see him try to use his feet, create some space. You get, get the, out of here. You get the feeling, though, that he is going to survive this round now. It looked like it was not going to be the case earlier, but it seems like he's he's at least weathered the storm, and can Stevenson finish him off here? Stevenson's doing a good job of trapping his arms. Cruise to position, more elbows coming down. 40 seconds remains in round two. This one is nasty. The cut on the head of Eve Edwards, but that also makes your opponent extremely slippery. It does. Hard to secure any submissions. He's going to have to just continue to pound away here and, and try and get Eve in a position where he can't intelligently defend himself. Get out of there, let's go. Another elbow. He's really working Eve over here. Now the beauty of it is in 10 seconds, Stitch and our cut men will be able to stop the majority of that bleeding. He'll put some coagulants in that cut, stop that bleeding, get him cleaned up, and he'll come out for the third round. What a job done by Eve Edwards to survive a great round two for Joe Stevenson. Simply outstanding. Amazing. Joe Stevenson definitely dominated that round. Probably a 10-8 round for Joe. And I would say that he lost a 10-9 round the first round. So you know, still a, a very competitive fight. Here's Leon Tams, veteran cut man. One of the best in the business. The doctors are in there to make sure that Eve Edwards is okay. The most important thing that is stressed here in the Ultimate Fighting Championship is our fighter's safety. Absolutely. Hey, come clean that mess up. That is a dangerous To make him clean it up. It's going to require some stitches after the fight for sure. Other than that, his face doesn't He's really look that bad hey, for as many elbow shots as he took. He's got a little knot on the other side of his forehead. It's all over. The doctors have stopped the fight. Joe Stevenson is victorious. The doctors have stopped the fight. Just too much damage and, and a very big gash. There's a replay. Look at these strikes in this grounded down by Joe Stevenson. He's got him stacked into the fence, hips, piling him in there. Big elbow strikes coming down. Now the crucifix. Here's some elbows again from that exposed head. Amazing, a scalp wound, how much it will bleed. So again, as I said, the ultimate of importance is our fighter's safety. And with that in mind, yes, the doctors stopped the fight after round two. Daddy saying hello to Joey, Tyler, and Frankie at home. And all that work by Joe Stevenson pays off as he reigns supreme. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee John McCarthy, on the advice of the doctor, has called a stop to this contest after two rounds of action. Declaring the winner by TKO, Joe Daddy Stevenson. Great job done by Joe Stevenson. Here's Randy Couture. Joe Daddy. Good to see you at 155 pounds. Tell us how you feel about this weight class. I uh, feel like God has blessed me with the ability to cut down and that I can do anything I want at this weight. It's hard to knock me out. I've been going with the best at 70s, 215, er everywhere. I just want to say thank you to my boys, Joey, Tyler, Frankie, my wife. I haven't been home for two months. I've been training with Billy Rush, been training with Irvin Bounds, Mark Lamb and Kevin Randleman, and I miss Father's Day, I miss my birthday. Joe, talk us through this Mickey's replay here at the end of the fight. Um, I knew I had the cut, I wanted to work on it, you know. I wanted to start swinging all, all balls to the wall for it. But, uh, but I, couldn't, I couldn't hold on to him. He gets so slippery. It's the bloodiest fight I've ever been in. Um, um, that, I, Eves, he, that fight could have went either way if he would have not got cut. We would have kept on going, giving you guys what you deserve to watch, a war. Great job, Joe. We look forward to seeing you back at 155 pounds.